We have a math expression here that we have to simplify by using the order of operations. The first thing we look for are parentheses, and we have no parentheses. So next we go to exponents. And right here we have an exponent, 1.5 to the second power. So we're going to go off on the side here and multiply 1.5 by itself. 5 times 5 is 25, carry the 2. And 5 times 1 is 5 plus 2 is 7. And we're finished with this place value, so directly beneath that place value we put a 0 for a placeholder. And 1 times 15 is 15. And now we got to add all the columns up. This column is 5, this column is 12, and this column is 2. Now remember, if you have a decimal in the problem, you also need one in the answer. After this decimal, we have one place value, and we have one decimal after, or one place value after this decimal as well, for a total of two place values. So what we do is go to the answer and just skip over the last two place values and put our decimal where it belongs. So 1.5 squared is 2.25. So right underneath this part of our expression, we write the answer 2.25. Next, we have to bring down everything from the previous step that we didn't touch yet. So we have to bring down the division sign, 0 0.3, the multiplication sign, 4 divided by 1.2 minus 4.8 plus 0 and 8 tenths. Okay, next we go to the beginning of our expression and we perform multiplication or division in order of appearance from left to right. So as we swipe from left to right, we immediately come across a division sign. So we have to take 2.25 and divide that by 0 0.3. So let's go ahead and take 2.25 and divide that by 0 and 3 tenths. Now we have a decimal in our divisor and the rules state that we have to move that all the way to the end of our divisor to turn that into a whole number. And what we do to the outside, we do to the inside. So we're going to take this decimal and move it one place value as well, and then we move it directly above for the answer. Now because 3 does not fit into 2, we are not allowed to write anything on top of this digit right here. Next we see how many times 3 goes into 22, which is 7 times. 7 groups of 3 is 21. 22 minus 21 is 1. We bring down the 5, which is 15, and we divide 3 into 15, which fits in exactly 5 times. So 2 and 1 quarter divided by 3 tenths is equal to 7 and 5 tenths. Next we have to bring down everything from the previous step that we didn't touch yet. We have to bring down the times 4 divided by 1 and 2 tenths minus 4 and 8 tenths plus 0 and 8 tenths. And now we go back to the beginning of our expression and do any multiplication or division that we see from left to right. And right away we have a multiplication sign so we have to multiply 7 and a half by 4. Now 7 and a half times 4 is really mental math. Whenever you multiply something by 4, it's really just doubling it twice. So if we double 7 and a half, that would give us 15, and then if we double 15, that would give us 30. So right beneath this part of our expression, I'm just going to write 30, and then bring down the rest of our expression. All right, now we go back to the beginning of our expression and look for any multiplication or division, and we just have one of those signs left, in this case, 30 divided by 1.2. So we're going to take 30 and divide that by 1.2. Now, if you have a decimal in your divisor, you have to put one in your dividend all the way at the end of your dividend. And then after that decimal, write a zero. Next, we have to take this decimal and move it all the way to the end. Because we had to move over one place value to get there, we do the same with this decimal right here. And after moving it over, we move it directly above and then begin dividing. 
12 goes into 3 no time, so don't write anything above the 3. 12 goes into 30 twice, which is 24. And 30 minus 24 is equal to 6. Next, we bring down the 0 and divide 12 into 60, which fits in exactly 5 times. So 30 divided by 1 and 2 tenths is equal to 25. So now that we finish this part of our expression, we're going to bring down the minus 4.8 and the plus 0 0.8. Now when all you have remaining in your expression are addition and subtraction signs, you just do those in order of appearance from left to right. So we're going to start with 25 minus 4.8. So let's go off to the side here and write 25 as 25.0. And right beneath that, we're going to subtract 4.8. And the reason we added a decimal to 25 with a 0 is so we could line up the decimal that is found in 4.8. We drop our decimal straight down. And then we have to turn this 0 into a 10 and borrow one hole from the 5 which is now a 4. 8 subtracted from 10 is 2. 4 minus 4 is 0. And 2 minus nothing is 2. So now we just have one step left. We have to take 20 and 2 tenths and add to that 0 and 8 tenths. And if we add those two values together, we end up getting 21. So 21 is the answer to this expression up here. All right, so with this example, we actually do have parentheses given. So we have to do what's in parentheses first. And we have a subtraction and an addition sign. And when you have both an addition and a subtraction sign, you go from left to right. So let's start by taking 9 and subtracting from it 2 and a half. So 9 take away 2 and a half is 6.5. And then we have to add to that 0 0.5. And after we come up with that sum, we're going to multiply that by 1.5 or 1.5. And let's bring down the rest of our expression. 0 0.3 plus 2 times 7.5. All right. So we still have something left in parentheses, which is 6 and a half plus 1 half, and that is equal to 7. And we're going to multiply 7 by 1 and a half. And of course, we always bring down what we didn't touch from the previous step. OK, now all we have remaining are addition signs, division signs, and multiplication. And remember, when you have a number right on the outside of parentheses, that is also multiplication. So the first thing we have to do at this point in our expression is to multiply 1 and a half times 7. So let's go off on the side here and multiply 1.5 times 7 real quickly. 7 times 5 is 35. We carry the 3. And 7 times 1 is 7 plus 3 is 10. There is one number after the decimal, so the same must hold true in the answer. So our decimal point goes in this location right here. So this part of our expression is equal to 10 and a half or 10.5. All right, now we drop everything from the previous step that we did not touch. And we have to see if there's any more multiplication or division signs in order of appearance from left to right. So if we go to the beginning of our expression and go from left to right, we immediately see a division sign. So we have to take 10 and a half and divide that by 3 tenths. So let's take 10.5 and divide that by 0.3. All right, because we have a decimal in the divisor, we have to move that all the way to the end. And we have to jump over one number to get there, so we have to do the same thing on the inside. So let's jump over one number here. And, and then move that directly above and start our division. And of course, 3 cannot go into 1, but it can go into 10 a total of 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. 10 minus 9 is 1. And then we bring down the 5. And 3 goes into 15 exactly 5 times. 
35 point nothing is just 35, so right underneath this part of our expression, we just write 35. Next, we bring down our addition sign, and the number 2, and then the multiplication sign, and our 7.5, or 7.5. Now, at this point, we just have two signs remaining, an addition sign and a multiplication sign. You always have to complete all multiplication and division before you do any addition or subtraction. So next we have to multiply 2 by 7 and a half. Well, 2 times 7 and a half should be mental math. That would be a total of 15. Now we're going to bring down our addition sign and the number 35 and add those together. And 35 plus 15 is equal to 50, which is the answer to this expression.